This video demonstrates a slap repair using the Dunamis 3mm punch tack anchors. You have a type 2 slap lesion that you can see after the glenoid has already been debrided to healthy bleeding bone. I'm going to insert a guide and a drill for the 3mm peak anchor. We're punching in the peak anchor. This is loaded with two high strength sutures. I'm viewing from a posterior portal and the loop grasper is in the anterior portal. I'm managing my sutures so that I can grasp the suture that's closest to the labrum. And I'm passing it with an OPDS that's being used as a shuttle, which can be very cost effective in a surgery center. This is a sliding locking knot and I place the arm in full external rotation while I'm tying this in order to prevent over constraint. Next, I'm placing three alternating half hitches to secure the knot. And we're burying the knot down and I'm going to cut the sutures. I will place a second anchor more posterior than the first one. Here's the drill guide again. The drill has a hard stop. And then I'll insert the second peak anchor. the black line is buried. Again, we're going to manage the sutures through the anterior portal. I'm going to grasp the suture that I want to pass through the labrum. I'm using a reusable suture passer, but you can use any device that you want. The reusable passer with the OPDS, again, is very cost effective in a surgery center. Second knot is being tied down. The sutures are cut. And then I'll check the stability of the repair. So we have a good repair posterior to the biceps anchor. Now I'm checking anterior, where we need a third suture and anchor. Once that's been placed, we have a good stable repair of the slap lesion. The key is to avoid sutures in the biceps attachment between the black lines. So you want some movement of the biceps tendon. This is our final repair.